Hi Forestdale Elementary, Ranger Hannah here, and today we are learning about the life cycle of a watermelon. What I have here. First, I want to review the parts of a plant that we went over last week, because watermelons come from plants, and to understand the life cycle, we need to understand the parts. So, Miss Wheat's class, do you remember what this part was? This is the petal. Ooh, and this part, Miss Baldino's class. What do you think these are? He said leaves, you're right. Ah, now what connects the leaves and the petals to the plants? That's the stem. Now, Miss Bredo's class, do you remember what these are and what their purpose is? These are the roots that hold the plants into the ground and bring the nutrients in from the soil for the plants. Ah, and this is a really important one today. Seeds. Miss Green's class, do you remember what you do with seeds? If you remember, we had some plants that we reviewed that were growing in the sunroom. This one right here will one day turn into a plant that we put in a garden. It's growing in some soil right now and it would be considered a sprout of some sort, so a small plant. It's getting its nutrients from the roots in the soil and as you can see, it has a stem and leaves. This is also how a watermelon starts out. So I think that if you've had a watermelon before, you might have encountered some of those dark black seeds that are inside the watermelon. If you take one of those seeds and plant it, it turns into a sprout. From that sprout, you'll notice a vine. This is the next part of the watermelon life cycle. Now, if you look closely at this vine, Miss Green's class, what do you notice on this vine? Do you see those little hairs? Those offer insulation for the plant, camo, and protection. That's a pretty neat plant part, if you ask me. What comes after the vine? Another important part of the plant, the flower. So as you can see here, this pretty yellow flower is a part of the watermelon's life cycle. So Muhammad, do you have any guesses on what comes next in the watermelon's life cycle? After it flowers, it then produces little fruits. So here we have a small green watermelon. I don't think it's quite ready to eat if you compare the size of that watermelon to the one in my hand. After we give it some time, it becomes a ripe watermelon, much like the one you see in this photo and the one I have here. Now what else does this watermelon need? What do all plants need? I mentioned where this one came from the sunroom. Plants need sun. And with that, they also need nutrients. Who remembers? The word is even in the name of this fruit. They also need water. Hmm. Well, now that we've used this, I'm going to come up with a need that I have. I'll be right back. I cut the watermelon for a snack for myself. Mmm. Very sweet and delicious. I also notice some of the seeds in here. I'm going to avoid eating them myself. I don't really like them. I like the pink fruit. But I could take these seeds and put them in soil, make sure they got some sunlight, make sure the soil had nutrients, water it, and I could grow myself a watermelon plant. 
Well, thank you, Forest Dale. I hope you enjoy the life cycle of the watermelon and maybe get to enjoy some fruit yourself. See you later.